Okay, Marky Moon, here's the, uh, the first guitar when it comes in. Okay, so uh, we're going from a sort of a B minor to a D, well that's what the bass is doing anyway. Uh, so this is the first, the first shape, uh, fourth fret on the G, uh, third fret on the uh, B string. So you could see it's in the B minor chord there. And the count is one, uh, three and four, one and two, three and four, one and two, three and four, and two, three and four. And then uh, the second chord. Um, we're just dropping down to a D, uh, and that's just again two notes, two uh, second fret on the A on the on the A there, and uh, third fret on the B string. Okay, one and two, three and four, one and two, three and four, one and two, three and four, one and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. Okay, so that's the first guitar, and then the second guitar comes in over the top of this one. And we want uh... okay. Now this one takes a little bit of practice, but it's good when you get it. Um, and uh, uh, best to describe, describe this. We want a little bar on the fifth fret, and then uh, a little finger on the seventh fret. And same for the third finger, seventh fret on the B string. So uh, we're going to um, pick those two notes and then pull off. So we're actually pulling off both strings at the same time. Something that you don't always do. Um, now that happens uh, four times, and then the fifth time we land back on on the seventh fret. Okay, in sort of slow motion. So all I'm doing is picking down on the seventh fret, but the other, the, the second note is a pull off. Okay. Whoops, again. Right, so, uh, so that's the first bit. The second bit is dead similar because we're doing the same on the next two strings on the B and the G string. Okay, so again, you need a little bar uh, just across those two, the G and the B strings, and then pull off from the seventh fret on both strings again. Okay, so that is again the fifth time you're landing back on the seventh fret. if you listen to the song you'll get that um, pretty good. It just takes a bit of effort to get the pull off smooth and that but um, it's not too bad. Okay so while, while we're looking at this we may as well have a, have a go at the, the, uh, the solo sort of lead line um, which comes in <laughs> To uh, four parts, and um, so it's all on the top three strings. And if you know a natural minor scale, that's the, the scale that we're playing in. So we're gonna let's just go through the notes. Uh, nine on the G string, the E there. So it's a home home note. Seven, eight, ten on the B, and the same on the E. So we come in, let's look at the first section, slide up to the ninth fret and then go on, come and play up the scale. Okay, now jump to the tenth fret and play down the scale and land on the D. 
Okay, slowly. Right, once you've got that, next two bits are easy because they're just the same. So we're playing that whole section three times but only slide up the first time. Back onto the B string, okay, 10th fret, and then, okay, so I'll go through that again. This is the fourth bit now, and again, so we're going uh, 10, 9, 7, over the to G string. Similar sort of pattern on the front, starting from the E string. And then we'll come out and end on a D chord. Okay. And also, just thinking about this while we're on it, if you want to um, maybe solo along to the to the uh, to the sort of lengthy solo that's uh, that comes up that comes in. Uh, then a good scale to pick is uh, D mixolydian. Um, so just going through the notes on that, we've got D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, and D. as well as uh, play off the open D string on that, that's pretty handy too.